Good morning, God. This is your day. I am your child. Show me your way. Good morning, God. This is your day. I am your child. Show me your way. Wow. We have made it to the middle of the week. We have traveled to a lake. We have traveled in a boat. Here we are, our third day of Staycation Bible School. And where are we traveling to today? Well, even though Jesus did a lot of traveling, there's something very important that Jesus did. Jesus traveled to get away. That's right, Jesus needed a break too. Jesus did a lot of teaching and a lot of walking and a lot of traveling. And Jesus needed to take a break too. That's what we're exploring today. What does it mean to travel, to get away? What does it mean to take time away? Now Jesus didn't travel to get away to, I don't know, go for a vacation or do something like that. Many times he traveled away so that he could pray, so that he could build his relationship with God, so that he could take a break and clear his mind. That's why we get away as well. But it's harder to get away these days, isn't it? So how can we travel to get away, staying right in our own homes or in our own neighborhoods? We'll think about that today. Let us pray together. God of rest, from the very beginning, you taught us that rest was very important. You rested on the seventh day of creation and Jesus took a break from traveling and teaching. Help us to rest. Remind us that when we rest, we are able to reconnect with you and with one another. Thank you for this day of rest. Amen. Have a great day, friends. Awesome are your feet. They pray with Jesus. Lord, listen to your children pray. Lord, send your spirit to this place. Lord, listen to your children pray. Send us love. Welcome to day three of VBS. The scripture memory verse for today comes from Joshua 24, 15. As for me and my house, we will love and serve the Lord. I can write a love song, tell you what I think you want to hear, but it wouldn't be good enough, no. Yeah, I could try so hard to give it everything. Oh my goodness. Do you ever feel like there is just too much going on? I definitely do. There's school and friends, soccer practice, chores, my sister, my brother. Phew, just thinking about it makes me feel so tired. Well, hopefully you've been able to slow down a little bit while staying at home the past two months. It is nice to relax, enjoy nature, read a book, or even take a nap. 
Today's Bible story is a little different. It really isn't a story. It's more of a picture of how Jesus spent his time. Throughout the Bible, there are times when we read about Jesus and his disciples or followers getting away from the crowds. Sometimes Jesus just wanted some alone time. It didn't last for long and soon the crowds of people would find him again. Jesus just didn't seem to get enough time to rest, but he took time to rest. Remember that even when it was busy or people seemed to need Jesus, he found time to rest. And what did he do when he rested? He prayed. Jesus made sure to connect to God by praying. When Jesus prayed, what do you think he prayed for? I bet he said prayers for all of the children in the world. Do you have a favorite place to rest? What do you like to do when you rest? Here is what my family likes to do for rest. Sometimes we sit on the front porch and we rock on the rocking chairs and play with our dogs. Sometimes we read books sitting in our hammock swings. And sometimes we relax in the pool. Jesus teaches us to pray. He tells us that praying helps us build our friendship with God. Where is a quiet place that, that you can go to get away and pray? If you don't have a place, where can your family create a getaway space to grow your relationship with God? I'm going to my favorite place right now, my back porch. It's quiet and I can hear all of the sounds of nature around me. The birds in the trees, the frogs in the pond, and the crickets in the woods. It's a perfect place for me to feel closer to God. Joshua 24:15. As for me and my house, we will love and serve the Lord. Hey everyone, my name is Emma and today I'll be singing Spirit of the Living God. So let's get started. beautiful people. I'm so glad to join you today for your um, for one of your days of VBS. My name is Beth and I am a member of the missions at Olivet Presbyterian Church, one of the leaders. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about a special ministry that we have called the Diaper Ministry. 
I wanted to just start off by reminding you that something you probably already know, but in the Bible, Jesus tells us that it's really, really good and really important to love our neighbors. And so I wanted to think about, I want you to think about who are your neighbors. And sometimes our neighbors are the people who live next door, of course, but sometimes we can think about neighbors as being everybody in the world, anybody who might it, we might interact with or somebody that we might um, meet on the street, somebody who we don't ever even meet who lives around someplace else in the world can be our neighbor. And so one of the great privileges that we have as, as believers in Christ is to take care of our neighbors when they are in need. And this is one of the ways that we do this at this church is through our diaper ministry. Um, before I show you what's in this diaper ministry pantry behind me though, I wanted to just talk to you a little bit about diapers. I know you guys are all too big for diapers and left those behind a long time ago probably, but um, you may have little brothers and sisters or cousins or friends who are wearing diapers. Um, so I know you're familiar with diapers, but one thing you might not be familiar with is the uh, cost of diapers. It's really expensive to keep a baby in diapers and keep that baby clean and dry and safe um, so that he or she can grow up um, just being as healthy as possible. It's really expensive and sometimes families run into times in their lives when they just are struggling to have enough money to buy all the things they need to have. They might have lost a job or they might work really hard at their jobs but not make very much money. And so if we can help some ways with um, with some of the things they need in their lives, such as diapers, then that's what the church would like to do. So we have this diaper ministry and I'm gonna show you what's in the pantry. I bet you can guess. I'm gonna open this door here and you can see, if I get both doors open, that we have a very large supply of diapers. Let me pull back a little bit so you can see the whole closet. And these diapers come from people in our church and people in the community who are really kind and generous and they want to help families who might need diapers. So they bring them to us and we put them in this closet. And then some of the folks in the church serve as volunteers and they get together with a family, sometimes make friends with that family, definitely visit with that family once a month, take them some diapers and some wipes to help with cleaning up and really just get to know each other. And in that way, we feel like we are bringing Jesus in with us to that relationship with that family. And it really can be a very beautiful thing. Not only are we providing the diapers, but we're also providing a friendship and a connection. And we just think that that's a really important thing to do. Um, one of the things that's really happened during this COVID crisis is that more and more people have been bringing us diapers, which is great because also more and more people have been needing them. So I'm going to turn my computer around here and show you that we have all these extra diapers that people have brought in recently, which is really great because we have been needing a lot more diapers to take to families. Also, one more thing I wanted to tell you about is that when we visit with a family for the very first time, we take them one of these little cards. And I'm gonna hold this up so you can see it a little bit. It says, a prayer for mothers. And I'm just gonna read it to you so that you can know what it says, this little card. It says, loving God, we thank you for the mothers of this world whose love is so big that it cannot be measured, whose patience seems to have no end. May we see your loving hand behind them and guiding them. We pray for these mothers who fear that they will run out of love or time or resources or patience. We ask you to bless and uplift them with your limitless love. We ask this in the name of Jesus, who taught us how to love. Amen. And it's signed by the Olivet Diaper Ministry at Olivet Presbyterian Church. And this is just one of the ways, like all of the other missions that we have at this church, to take care of our neighbors. We take care especially of babies and their mothers in this way, but also the fathers and the siblings of those of those babies. Um, and it is our pleasure and our joy to do so. I hope that you will enjoy the rest of your week at Vacation Bible School, and I hope that I get to meet you sometime in person, and I hope you have a lovely summer. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. I'm Martina. I hope you're having a great time at Bible School this week. Pastor Kelly asked me to teach you an energizer that might help you get through this week of virtual VBS. Since we're talking about traveling, I thought it, what a better way to travel than to do a little bit of swimming, some skiing,
some horseback riding, and then we're gonna use our own feet and walk 500 miles. We're gonna throw in some chicken dog, and some Charlie Brown, and some jumping around to make for a great trip. Okay, so before we get started, I'm going to teach you the moves. They're very simple, and I will call them out as we're doing the dance as well. So the first is swimming. You're going to take four strokes slowly, and then you're gonna take eight strokes fast. And then you're gonna do four skiing, and then you're gonna ski really fast. And then you're going to get on your horse and get your lasso, and we're gonna lasso that rope four times, and then we're gonna do it eight times really fast. And then we're gonna do a chicken dog. Who knows what a chicken dog is? I don't know either, but this is how you do it. You're gonna act like a chicken, but you're gonna bark like a dog. Woo, woo, woo. And you do that four times slow and then eight times fast, okay? Then we're gonna walk. That's really simple. You're gonna take four steps one direction and then you're gonna turn and we're gonna do four steps the other direction, okay? Last part, we do around the world. Throw your arms up this way, up this way, behind you, to the side, back to the front, and then you do a little bit of Charlie Brown, okay? Anytime during the song that there's a pause or you're just tired or you're waiting for the next part to come in, you can do some Charlie Brown or you can do any kind of freestyle that you wanna do, okay? We're gonna do the Around the World and the Charlie Brown anytime the chorus part comes on after we've walked the 500 miles. And then when they go back to the verse, We'll swim again and ski and do our horse and do our chicken dog, okay? So we get to do all of that a couple of times on repeat. We got it? Okay. Got a couple helpers here that are gonna help me out. So Siddeley and Austin, they've been doing this with me forever because I actually learned this when I was in middle school and I've been teaching them for many years. So it's one of my favorite energizers. Okay, are we ready to walk 500 miles? Yeah? All right, yeah. all right, let's go. Do a little Charlie Brown, Charlie Brown. We're gonna swim first. Okay, ready to swim, four times. When I wake swim. up, swim, well I know swim. I'm gonna be, swim. I'm gonna Eight be the man who wakes up next to you. When I go e out, Time. Yeah, I know I'm gonna be, Keep I'm fast. gonna be the man who goes along Four, with you. Five, six, seven, eight. If I get Four, drunk, that lasso. well I know I'm gonna be, Four, I'm gonna be the man time. who gets drunk Four, next to you. Two, seven, and if I get drunk,
It is day three of Staycation Bible School, and today is all about resting. I don't know about you, but in the middle of the week, I need to take a deep breath and a big rest. Let's take a deep breath together. Today is not really a story in any way, but it's just a reminder that Jesus traveled to rest. He got away. He found a spot to get away. And so here are some questions to wonder about. Why did Jesus rest? The Bible says that he prayed. What do you think Jesus prays for? And Jesus teaches us to pray. He tells us that praying helps us build a friendship with God. A challenge for you today is to find a place where you can get away. A place where you can get away in your house or your yard or in your neighborhood where you can connect and build your relationship with God. There's more about that in your travel guide for the day. Our phrase for the day is awesome are your feet. They pray like Jesus. Have you ever heard such a thing? How in the world can our feet pray like Jesus? Think about it. Here's one way I think you can pray like Jesus, and this is your flat Jesus challenge for today. Go for a walk. It could be in your neighborhood, or maybe you wanna go somewhere in the Charlottesville community and take a walk. There's something that you can do called a prayer walk. And as you pass different places, you pray for things that you pass by. There's some suggestions in your guide today, but one idea might be is, when you walk around your neighborhood and you get to your bus stop, Say a prayer for your school and your school friends. Another one that I really love is when you're walking around, do you see pets or wildlife? Pray for the animals of your world. I don't know about you, but we've spotted some bears in our yard before. So take a prayer walk. Your photo challenge today is to take a picture of you and Flat Jesus in the space you choose for resting and getting away. And guess what? It's all about resting today. And so one of the activities we suggest that you do is to watch a movie with your family. Pop some popcorn and have a movie night or a movie day or a movie morning. And finally, today is our big art project with Casey Lynn. This is gonna be really exciting. We wanted to do something that we would do in our home and then bring back to church to have a way to remember this time together and celebrate the time that we did Vacation Bible School at home. We came up with this idea of prayer flags and Casey Lynn has put all the supplies in your bags. It's a Ziploc baggie. She will do two Zoom sessions today and you can check in on those and she'll teach how to do the project. She's put the directions in too and left her phone number. And if you can't make it to the Zoom sessions, we're recording them so you can catch them later. But we hope that you have fun with those activities. Today is about resting, friends. To find all those ways that you rest and relax in the love of God. See you tomorrow. We are marching for the Lord is our light. We are marching.
Hello everyone and welcome to another segment of The Shoes You Wear. So yesterday we looked at a pair of dress shoes that I wear for the work that I do. So today's first hint, these shoes are not because of work that I do, but because of a hobby that I enjoy. So the first hint, I wear these shoes for a hobby that I enjoy. The second hint, these shoes are like the first day, they're also water resistant. They're also water resistant. Hmm. The third hint, this is a type of boot. It's a type of boot. That third hint might have given it away. What's your guesses at home? Did anybody guess? Hiking boot? Hiking boot? So these are my hiking boots and, and they're a nice pair of shoes uh, because I really like to hike. I like to be outdoors and last year I actually did a 100 mile hike in the Scottish Highlands. So I needed a really good pair of shoes because I was doing a lot of walking. Do you all like to, to take hikes? Do you have a nice pair of shoes that you wear when you hike? So now remember no matter where you go, and I hope you go lots of fun and exciting places, no matter where you go, no matter the shoes that you wear, remember who you are and remember whose you are. You are a child of God, made in God's image, called to share God's love. Amen. decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. Though none go with me, I still will Yeah.